Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to what I assume... What I, I don't know what to call this. It's the Pokemon Masters... Gameplay slash... Trailer slash... Developer... Commentary... Explanation of what... Whatever the hell... I don't know what to call this. The developers talking about the game and all the work that went into it and then what the game's about and how to control it and there's some gameplay in it and there's also the main trailer. I don't know what to call this. An omnibus? We'll call it an omnibus trailer. Whatever. It's good enough. Anyway, let's go. Okay. That looks like a smiley face. Ooh. They have phones. Is that the Pokedex now? I th is that the Pokedex now, or is that just a, actually a phone? Yeah, I know that's not actual gameplay footage. That's anime style. Why would that be gameplay footage? Oh, hey, Misty, what are you doing here? You're not... You're a gym leader. What are you doing here? I don't know who the other person is. I don't even remember the guy's name. Or if they had a name. Maybe they're one of the rivals from... one of the main generation games. Okay. 3v3. Yeah, I'm digging it. Okay, what's the gameplay? Hey, Brock, what are you doing here? You're a gym leader. Pretty sure a gym leader shouldn't be adventuring with us, but then again, that's the pot calling the huddle block, isn't it? Is Brock and Misty were gym leaders beforehand, and they still adventured with Ash. So, I don't know. I don't know. Are they trying to emulate that? Is that a Porygon, or is that Rotom? The, I'm talking about the phone thing, or what I assume to be... The Pokedex? I forget what Pokemon was supposed to be the Pokedex now, or what turned into it, or something. Who's attacking who? Oh, that's yours. Okay. I thought the Onyx was yours. And they were just attacking your own Onyx. Oh, hello, Pikachu. Good to see you are still overpowered. And not with Ash. Okay. Still not sure what the gameplay is supposed to be other than Pokemon battles and what I assume to be 3v3. But I want to see gameplay! This is a rather nice trailer, though. Okay, I'm assuming this is a league battle. Yeah, league battle. Trainers from all over the world hey, it's red! And not red! I think that's blue. Yeah, that's blue. That I'm the best, it's not Gary. I can beat any team around. I have to prove that my team is the strongest. Oh wow, they're bringing everybody back, aren't they? Except for gold and silver. So far. Who the hell are those people? Oh. I'm going to assume that the edgy-looking people were the villains of this particular game. Ooh, that's neat. It's like three elements crashing together. Nice. Hello! Hello! I'm Ishihara from the Pokémon Company. Hello, Ishihara! How you doing? What did you think of the animated trailer? I think it showed no gameplay, and I'm confused as to how the game actually controls. We've created this world in the form of a smartphone game. Okay. Kind of figured that, because... I saw a little bit of this earlier, and it was very much 
this kind of screen. Why, phone? This why are you on when I didn't want game, you to be? Was also created by Mr. Sugimori. Pokemon Masters started with an idea from Mr. Sugimori, who is one of the original creators of many captivating Pokemon trainers. Okay. The idea was to create a gameplay experience where you could befriend <laughs> Pokemon, but also trainers to battle alongside. Okay. Way, we added new depth to the world of. Pokemon. I kind of understand that. And the Pokemon Company have been working together to develop this new type of Pokemon game. Now, we'll so you can just befriend trainers and I assume Pokemon that they have for Mr. Sasaki, the producer on the game. Let me, let me pause this. I'm assuming that when you befriend a trainer, you can't swap out their Pokemon. And it's more like troops battling. It's more like I, oh, I said troops, but maybe it's I don't know, party members with certain Pokemon, so you're actually just getting certain Pokemon rather than whatever you want. I don't I don't know how that's supposed to work at the moment. Unless the trainer itself is able to boost certain other Pokemon. It's like Misty boosts the power of water type Pokemon, or Brock boosts the power of rock Pokemon or something. Why he had a Snivy, I'll never know. From DNA. Take it away, Mr. Sasaki. Yes, Mr. Sasaki, take us away. Hello. I'm Sasaki from DNA Company Limited. That's how you pronounce that? Pokemon Masters. Okay, hello. The artificial island of Pasio is the setting for this game. Some artificial island. Or in the world of Pokemon. What? What does that mean? Pokemon trainers are aiming to become the champion of a tournament called the Can Blue not stand in a in a location? Sorry to riff on this, but like Blue's not Blue's the only person not in an actual location. Everyone else is fine. Did they not Did they not finish a sixth location in time? Pokemon Masters League, which is being held on Pasio. I guess it doesn't matter, and I'm nitpicking. Trainers have a single ah, he's part of the intro. Okay, that makes sense. These duos are called sync pairs. Hello. Throughout the story, the main character will meet trainers who have appeared in past Pokemon video games and form mm -hmm. a team with other sync pairs. What about the anime? And to qualify for the Pokemon Masters League, they are we not even doing that? Collecting badges along the way. Okay, so it's a so far it's exclusively the game. I'm assuming no, we'll never see Ash or Gary or any other people like that. Battles in real time. Players unleash attacks as quickly. No one from the anime exclusively. Which fills as time passes. Okay. There are also special moves called sync moves, which make battles a whole lot more exciting. So that's the whole like three-way blast Another thing I saw, right? Of this game is that Pokemon are not the only ones using moves. Trainers use them too. Trainers hmm. provide support in battle by using moves that heal Pokemon or raise their stats. Pokemon okay. allows you to make your own dream team with trainers from past Pokemon video games and try to become the champion. Hmm. I was about to say I got some Persona vibes, or Shin Megami Tensei vibes, but that's not entirely accurate. Masters, we're aiming to create a game that lets any Persona and Shin Megami Tensei are just JRPGs, like Pokemon, so of course I would get that conclusion. For summer of 2019. <laughs> working hard to so it's almost the done then. Have fun with. We'll keep you up to date with so the it, it's almost soon. And social media accounts. I hope you're looking forward to the release. Or is it already out and I just totally missed it? Thanks for watching. It's probably not already out. Oh, is that it? That's it? Okay. I'm gonna totally do something I shouldn't and actually see if it's out. And no, it's not out yet. I guess it's just gonna be out when it's out. That's fine. So that was the Pokemon Masters omnibus trailer. I don't... still don't know what to call it. I guess reveal trailer, announcement trailer, something. I... I'm... 
it, it's a free mobile game, so I'm probably going to try it out anyway, but, like, I don't, I don't know. I need to play it to see if I'm hyped. It looks like it'd be fun. I just don't know for sure if it will be fun. We'll, we'll find out. Okay, so that was the Pokemon Masters... trailer? I don't... I still don't know what to call this. Someone's probably gonna vote me down in the comments and tell me what kind of trailer it is and call me a moron or something, but I don't know. Probably just, like, reveal trailer. Because it showed gameplay and the actual trailer. Announcement? Probably an announcement. We'll call it an announcement trailer rather than an omnibus trailer. Uh, where's the gameplay? Here we go. Okay, so... I wasn't looking at the UI during this trailer, so I didn't understand how the... trainer boosting moves worked. And I still don't, because while they are... while I do see that they're limited in how many times you can use them... per battle, I assume... I do not know if it would consume... I'm assuming it doesn't consume move energy. Which it probably should. Even Yeah, game footage isn't final. It probably should consume move energy. But then again, I don't know what kind of... I don't know if they wanted to nerf it in that way or if it even needs to be nerfed that way. Maybe it. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. And can the enemy use their own boosts as well? It's like they could use full heals and full restores in the in the main series games. Why not make it harder and let them boost you boost their Pokemon as well? I think part of the reason why I got Persona vibes and Shin Megami Tensei vibes is because I don't personally use X attacks or items to boost stats in the main series, because I'm a filthy casual, but it's like they're emphasizing it here, and I, I, I think that's where I got it. I think that's where I got the per, the SMT thing and Persona vibes, because, like, you need to use that. Otherwise, you die. Repeatedly. And again, this is Pokemon, so maybe it's going to be easier than that. I don't know. We'll see. The game is not out yet. Unfortunately, because I just checked. Uh, I guess we'll just see when it comes out. If it's good or not. It looks like it'd be fun. Still wondering if we'll m maybe see a thing from Ash and Gary, but I guess Gary is technically blue and Ash is technically red, so it wouldn't really work at all. Unless some weird crossover happens. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up now. Thank you guys so much for coming- for wa- ha! Huh. Why did I give the stream outro? Anyway, that about does it, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shrun. Love you all for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!